Hey, what's up you guys? I'm going to show you how to get Cossacks Back to War to work on Windows 10. Now, this is still pretty finicky, and as far as I know, this only works for the Steam version of the game. If you still have the old CD-ROM or, you know, the Cossacks Anthology Edition, I don't know how to get the actual CDs to work, because there's so many problems you run into with, like, the mouse not working, or the resolution, or the colors. There's just so many bugs. So, if... The game on Steam is about $5 or less. I think it still goes on sale every now and then. But if, once you have it on Steam, what you do is you'll see it in your library here on the left. Right-click it and go down to Properties. Now up here in this tab, click on Local Files. And then click the first option, Browse Local Files. And this should open up two folders in your program files, Bin and Docs. Open up Bin and scroll down until you see this file here called CSBTW. Now again, if you do not have the Steam version, you may not have this file. I think the CD always has DMCR, which is like the game itself, but Steam gives you this file. And if for some reason you do have the Steam game and yet it's still not there, um, my advice to you would be to maybe uninstall it, restart your system, and reinstall it, because it should be there. I mean, it's the same files regardless. But once it's all on there, right-click this file and go up to Troubleshoot Compatibility. Again, that's CSBTW that you're right-clicking. And now Windows is going to do its thing here, detecting issues, whatever the heck it's analyzing for. And now you get these two options. So what I did the first time was try recommended settings. And now you see here for me, it did Windows Compatibility Mode, Windows 7. And it says you need to test the program to make sure. So click Test the Program. And now you're going to get this shield up, you know, typical Windows security thing. Now you notice the brightness just dropped. I don't know if that's going to be picked up on this recording or not. This is a new thing. Uh, long ago, I got this game to work, and all I did was exactly what you just saw. But you see, if you go to options, so far the game is running. You can hear the music playing, even though the music volume is all the way down. The game options are quirky. Um, the music, sometimes, like after a few matches, it'll just stop playing. And it only will replay when you uninstall and restall it, or reinstall it. But if you just leave it all alone, it should default to whatever your computer settings are. So again, just to show you, I'll load up a random map real quick. Um, or just against whatever, we'll just do this, me against Bavaria, easy. Just to show you that it shouldn't crash. Now you see, it, it's doing weird display things, but just give it a moment. Alright, so now I'm going to pause it just to show you. So. Actually, the brightness should fix itself, too, I notice here. I'll just kind of, like, mess around, check the options again. You know, things seem to be working all right. There, did you see that? The brightness just adjusted. I don't know, that's a brand new thing I just ran into. Like, a couple years ago, I said, again, I just said, try recommended settings. But everything works. I mean, if you've tried this before yourself, um, you would know that sometimes you would do a few things and all of a sudden the game would just crash and it would say an unknown bug do you want to report this but as you can see here I'm playing completely fine um, I'm obviously not gonna play this is just to show you that you can actually play it uh, get these guys to build a storehouse whatever alright I'm not gonna play but you can see everything works fine and even the game in-game options work as well um, you can go fast and slow mode adjust the speed all of that works the only thing I've noticed is the music. You can tell the music is kind of a little loud, even though on this bar here it says it's completely off. And obviously you could turn it off, and it eventually the music's going to stop working. At least for me, I've noticed. And my video resolution, this is my monitor resolution. And again, you can see it should be filling out. Obviously it's going to be different for a video on YouTube, but for me it's filling out my whole thing. Yet, when I go to back to the main menu, you can see there's some weird display things going on right now. And now look at the main menu for me. It is significantly smaller than my actual screen resolution. It does not take up the full resolution of my monitor. And a lot of this might be able to be tweaked through your own computer setting and messing with your video card. But for the most part, all that matters is Cossacks Back to War works again on Windows 10. So you can go back and enjoy this old classic. And again, like even if the main menu is dark at first like you can see the brightness is completely fine now it just started out dark for whatever reason and now it's going into this thing you can see some crazy display options but here we go that video is loading it's at full resolution so everything should work you shouldn't run into it. Um, 
Uh, yeah, it's loud. See, now I'm escaping back to the main menu, so there's a resolution glitch there, but it works. And that's the thing, you shouldn't run into any kind of game crashes, and once you're actually going in a match, it should last for, you know, however many hours your match lasts. So, hopefully this helps you guys out, and again, if you have the actual CD and you're having trouble getting that to work, I'm sorry, I don't know how to help you there. Because, like I said in the beginning, the CD just has so many bugs trying to get it to work on modern systems. So, but that is all you need to do. Just run it in compatibility mode. And again, um, you can hit cancel and try this again. Go to troubleshoot compatibility and it'll... You have this other option. You can troubleshoot the program and it gives you, like, let's say the program opens but doesn't display correctly. Like, for example, if it doesn't brighten up automatically like it... Uh, it just stays so dark. You can try that and just keep kind of messing around with the compatibility troubleshooter and it should be able to work but as far as I know just running it in Windows compatibility mode for Windows 7 it works and again that file is csbtw in the folder called bin which is right there and you get to it one more time right click I'll show you from the beginning just again to reiterate right click properties and this tab, local files, browse local files, open the folder bin, and look for CSBTW, right click, troubleshoot, and do the try recommended settings options when it pops up. And it should do Windows 7, and you shouldn't have any problems, but it, you may still run into some things. You just kind of have to tweak it and kind of go at it. But it, it should work, and the most important thing is the game is not going to crash, because if you try to run it in just regular thing without doing this, you'll play maybe for about one minute and then the game is just going to crash on you. But running it in compatibility mode prevents this from happening as far as I've seen. So again, hope you got this helped you guys out and take care.